Our next guest, listen to this, on the cover of Sports Illustrated, at 13 years old, she won an ESPY award for Best Breakthrough Athlete, became a sports broadcaster at 18, and now plays softball at our HBCU School of the Day, Hampton University. We welcome Monet Davis to first take. Monet, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, really impressive resume. You know, Stephen A is all about resumes, and I think he She has it. I think she he, has it. I think she he approves it. of that. <laughs> I feel like I need to use my time more wisely, step my game up. So you obviously took the world by storm seven years ago, becoming the first girl to pitch a winning game at the Baseball World Series that landed you on Sports Illustrated. Looking back, what was that experience like for you? Um, that was kind of a dream come true for me and, you know, all my teammates. We were, you know, looking forward to it the entire summer. Um, we were, we just, you know, just wanted to get there and we thought it was going to be a long shot for us to get there. But once we, you know, saw what we were capable of and you know, using our strengths for our advantage, um, it just kind of, it's worked in our favor and it was just a dream come true. And now I have friends for a lifetime that I made at the, at the Little League World Series. What was life like for you in the immediate aftermath of all of that success and acclaim? Um, life was kind of crazy. Um, I think I missed like the very first day of eighth grade, but coming back, um, I just wanted to, you know, hang out with all my classmates and just get to school. Um, but I had traveled a lot, which I wasn't really used to. I didn't travel that much before, but I got to travel a lot. I got to meet some of my favorite athletes. Um, I got to do some pretty cool things, but the one thing I do, I will say that I kind of missed was, you know, just being a teenager, just hanging out with my friends, just, you know, walking down the street, going to get pizza or whatever. So, um, I feel like there were a lot of pros and more than, you know, cons. So I think it was a bit of half and half looking back. Monet, you're also a pioneer. I should have added this because over the summer, another girl followed in your footsteps, Ella Bruning. Uh, she, what was it like seeing her play at this year's Little League World Series as a catcher and getting hits? Um, it was cool. I, I got to, you know, watch some of her games in person. So that was really cool. And she's such a, a great young lady. Um, she was super nice. Uh, she smiled all the time. She didn't talk too much, but I, you know, just let her know that she obviously was a better hitter than I was when I was there because <laughs> she got two hits and only had one. So, you know, just giving her her props, and she was phenomenal behind the plate as well. You know, she blocked. I think she had, like, the most blocks out of everyone in the tournament. So, you know, it just shows how hard she works, and, I hope, you know, I wish her many success in the future. Monet, I got to ask you, I mean, I'm not going to hold it against you that, you know, you're not a, you're not a Winston-Salem State University <laughs> Ram. I won't, I won't go there. I mean, we, we all, we, 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 we pick our own destination. But Hampton is a lovely, lovely institution. What made you decide to go there, and how do you like it there? Um, the decision, I feel like, was kind of easy for me. Um, you know, I was looking more, as, more into the school as the school for education and not for, you know, sports. Although all the girls on the softball team are amazing. The coaches at the time were amazing. So, you know, I bonded well with the team. But I would say the Scripps Hour program, just the journalism school, was what really caught my eye because that's what I want to do in the future. So I wanted to choose a school that, you know, would set me up for, the, for success and for my future. So choosing mm. this school was pretty easy, especially with this program. So, you know, just having this program here, it's, it's phenomenal, and it's made the choice so much oh. easier for me. Monet, when you say journalism, are you talking, I mean, news? Are we talking sports? I mean, exactly what kind of journalist are you looking to be? Um, I want to do sports for sure. You know, growing up, that's all I knew was sports. So being a broadcaster, just talking about sports is something that, that I really want to do and it's something that I'm passionate about. Okay, so I'm going to help get you some resume tape right now. I understand you are from Philadelphia and you're a big basketball fan. So Stephen A., just interviewed Doc Rivers. You are up on the Ben Simmons news. So if you were going to interview Ben Simmons right now or Doc Rivers, what would Monet Davis like to ask them? Oh, um. <laughs> ah, that's tough. Um, Not for you. Not for I probably what would you say to, talk to Ben to, Simmons? What would I say to Ben Simmons? Yeah. Um, like, what would what, you like to ask? If I, were wanted, if I wanted to... I would just say, like, if, if you want to stay in Philly, like, what, were, what are you willing to do to make the change uh, to help this team out, you know, to take the program to the next level? I know we've, we've seen, you know, the, the Sixers make it far in, you know, on the Eastern Conference, but they're just – they're missing that one piece. So, you know, what can Ben Simmons do to step up to, you know, ensure that these, the Sixers continue on, you know, pushing forward and not stopping at the same point, you know, losing in the, you know, conference final or even, you know, 
second round. So making sure that, you know, what, what can he do to, you know, push the Sixers forward? Well, let me throw this out to you. How do you like this question? Uh, because he swears he wants to leave. How about this one? What, if anything, can the Sixers do to make you change your mind and want to come back? How do you like that one? Oh, I mean, it's, it's tough, to but I feel like that, I think it is. I, I really do think it is. Uh, I would feel like, you know, these few years that he was here, I feel like he really enjoyed it, and especially having been uh, Joel and B with them, I feel like those two are a great duo. They're young, so, you know, just having him, you know, talk about what, can the Sixers do to make that change to help him stay? I think that's just a phenomenal question. It'll get him yes. get him thinking and you know maybe change his mind. Yeah, I'm with it. I love the confidence, Monet. You're doing big things, especially at Hampton, and can't wait to see what you do beyond. Keep working hard. Keep making Thank everybody you. proud. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing you in this Thank business. You. Just don't come take my job just yet. She was already okay. an ESPN Look, saying, kids cast, do so she's already been All on right. the ESPN airwaves. All right, Monet, take care. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.